Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me for a little while, then you probably know I have a bunch of other videos about Zoom up on my channel, and I will link all of those in the description box down below. But I do get a lot of questions in the comment section of those videos, and I do see all of them. So I decided I wanted to make a video that really is troubleshooting specific, so that all of the questions are sort of in one place. I specifically want to cover topics like how to connect headphones, issues with your audio or video, issues with joining meetings or scheduling meetings. I will leave a list of topics I'll be covering in the description box down below along with their timestamps if you're looking for something specific. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is if you're having trouble joining a meeting. So I want to talk about scheduling meetings and joining meetings and how to troubleshoot those situations. So if you wanna schedule a meeting or join a meeting, you have to go to the Zoom app on either your computer or your tablet. If you don't have the Zoom app, I covered how to download it in my first Zoom video, which I'll link down below. But you will be using Zoom as an app on your computer, phone, or tablet. So make sure that you download the app. And if you wanna schedule a meeting, as you can see here, you can either click schedule, new meeting, or join. So let's start with clicking on schedule. And here's how you schedule a meeting. So let's just, we'll call it Claudia's Zoom meeting. We'll do, you know, you can change the date and time and how long you want your meeting to be. A reminder that you can only do 40 minutes if you have a free version, if you have more than two people on a Zoom. You can still do one-on-one -on -one with unlimited time, but if you have three or more people, you have a 40 minute time limit. So keep that in mind when you're scheduling the length of your meeting. You can choose to use a personal meeting ID, you can choose a password, you can choose if you wanna have a waiting room, which is a really good option. If you're gonna be having a lot of people come into your room and you wanna control when they can actually enter, if you wanna wait till you have everything fully set up before you let participants in, the waiting room is a really good option. And then once you're done scheduling your meeting and you click save, there will be a reminder right here, but if you also go up to meetings, it'll show you the meetings that you have scheduled. So you can start it and it will bring you right into the room that you created. But if you wanna send this invitation out to somebody or to a lot of people, you can either show the meeting invitation and just copy and paste all this information into an email. Or if you click copy invitation, as you can see, it says copied to clipboard. And then if you open up an email and just click paste, it will paste the meeting information into that email. So that's how you can schedule a meeting and start a meeting that you scheduled. So now let's say you're hosting a meeting and for whatever reason, someone that you invited can't join your meeting. Their, you know, their link isn't working, they can't find the email, something like that. While you're in a meeting, we're just gonna start one up. If you go up to this check mark right here, it will show you all the meeting information. So you can either copy the link and resend it to someone really quickly or you can just give them the meeting ID number and the password. And you know, if somebody is asking for it and you don't know where to find it, this is where you find it with this check mark up here under meeting information. So now let's talk about joining a meeting as a participant. So obviously you wanna have a Zoom link to join a meeting. It's the easiest way once you click on the link, it will bring you into the Zoom meeting. But you can also open your Zoom app, click join, and you can enter the meeting ID number, which can be found in your Zoom invitation or by asking the host to let you know what the meeting ID number is, and you can join that way. So now I wanna talk about the waiting room. If you are hosting a meeting, you can opt to have a waiting room to let your guests in at a specific time or all at once. So as you can see right here, this popped up at the top, Claudia iPhone entered the waiting room. So if I wanna view the waiting room, I can click view. And here's the waiting room, or I can click participants as well. And anyone who's waiting, you can choose to remove or admit. And if you have multiple participants, there will be an option at the top that says admit all at once. So you don't have to go through you know, maybe 40 people to click admit one by one. You can just admit everybody at the same time. A message like this will pop up if you are in the waiting room for a meeting. And if you're hosting and you wanted to know what it looks like while your guests are in the waiting room, this is what it looks like. 
Also, if you wanna turn this feature on or off, you just have to go to your Zoom settings, which I will show you how to do next. Okay, so if you wanna change any settings within your Zoom account, if you go to your web browser and type in zoom.us, you can log in up here. I'm already logged in, so I'm just gonna click my account. On the left-hand side, if you click on settings, Waiting room is one of the very first options. So you can toggle this on or off and you can also customize your waiting room. So you can customize what this will say, a logo or photo and a waiting room description. And this is all, by the way, if you have the paid plan for Zoom, since most people who are using waiting rooms are gonna have more than two people in a Zoom meeting. So these options are for the licensed versions of Zoom. You can also enable a sound when somebody joins so you can hear kind of like a little doorbell sound so that you know when people are joining. And that is in In Meeting Basic. If you click that and scroll down, sound notification when somebody joins or leaves. You can turn that on or off and you can play the sound for just yourself so that your participants don't hear it if you want or you can choose that everybody can hear the sound when somebody enters or leaves. Next up I want to talk about issues with connecting headphones, issues with audio and video as well. So let's say you log into a Zoom meeting. This box is going to pop up before you join and you can click this to automatically join audio by computer when you join a meeting to kind of bypass the screen, but I actually like it because it gives me a chance to test my audio and make sure everything's working before I sign in. So I like to choose the test speaker and microphone option and it will, you know, play you a sound so that you can test to make sure your speakers are working and then you can end the test and then it's gonna automatically sign you in. But let's say you wanna connect a pair of Bluetooth headphones, for example. So I will start a new meeting and show you what that looks like when your headphones are connected. So I'm gonna connect my headphones, and as you can see, the ones that are blue means they are connected and ready to go. So now if I go into a new meeting, I can click test speaker and microphone, I can change it to my AirPods. So now I'm hearing everything through my headphones instead of through the computer. And the same thing, I can click my AirPods to be my microphone instead of my computer. But let's say in the event that you're already on a Zoom and you wanna connect your headphones. So if you're already in here and you go to this little up arrow in the audio section and click audio settings, you can change whether you want it to come through your computer or through your headphones. And if your headphones aren't coming up as an option, that means they're not connected to your computer. So you're gonna have to go into your settings or your system preferences to connect them. And if you don't know where your system preferences or your settings are on your computer, you can just go up to this search bar and search for system preferences or settings. Another common issue that I've seen, especially when using Bluetooth headphones, is sometimes you're trying to adjust the volume of the meeting on your computer and it's not working in your headphones. So you might have to go into your audio settings and then adjust with output volume and that will raise and lower the volume of the meeting. If your video camera isn't working, this one is a little bit more challenging. So I would recommend testing out your camera ahead of time because you might have to completely restart your computer and you don't wanna miss five, 10, 15 minutes of a meeting trying to reboot your computer. So if your video isn't coming up, I would recommend either restarting your computer or making sure that you have the most up-to-date Zoom app downloaded. And the way you can check that is once you're in a Zoom, going up to Zoom and clicking About Zoom, and this will come up right here. And it'll show you what version you have. This is the most up-to-date version. Obviously, that's the most up-to-date version as of April 2021, but if you're watching this video later, that could change, so you can just Google what the most up-to-date version of Zoom is if you're unsure. You may also need to change your computer settings to make sure Zoom is allowed to use your camera and your microphone, and I actually did show how to do that in one of my earlier videos if you are running into that issue. Next, I wanna talk about changing the way you can view a Zoom, and that's speaker view or gallery view and also pinning videos so that the video doesn't change every time somebody speaks, which can be really distracting. So now obviously I have two people in this Zoom meeting and I can change the view to speaker view and both of my people are muted, so I'm gonna unmute Claudia's iPhone. And now that Claudia's iPhone is speaking, they are gonna be the biggest video. 
And so now if you have a bunch of people talking at once, this is gonna keep ping-ponging back and forth to whoever's talking, which can be really frustrating. So if you want just one person to be pinned, if you hover over somebody's video, you can choose pin. And so now, even though I'm muted, I'm the pinned video, so I'm gonna be the largest video being shown. And you can change to gallery view where you can just see everybody at once. But if you want speaker view, if you know just your teacher is going to be speaking the whole time, you can just click speaker view and then pin whatever video you want to see the largest. And if you change your mind, you can just remove pin and everyone will be back up in gallery view. So finally, I wanna talk about using polls within a Zoom meeting. And you can actually only use this feature if you have the paid version of Zoom. So keep that in mind, but this can be a really good way to engage with multiple people in your meeting if you do have the licensed version and wanna use that feature. So the way you do it is by going to a web browser and going into your Zoom account. In Meeting Basic and scroll down, you can see Meeting Polls. And so it says host can add polls before or during a meeting. So I will show you how to do that. Go to meetings and then click personal room. And as you can see, poll is an option. So you can add polls and edit the questions and answers. And of course, add multiple options if you want or change to multiple choice where you can select multiple options. And then once you log into your Zoom meeting, you will see that polling is an option down here and it will pop up any questions that you saved through your Zoom account. So that is it for today. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And if you need help with any other programs or gadgets that you'd like me to cover, please leave them in the comments and I would be happy to make a future video about those topics. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time. Bye.